What up, Diecast Gang? Welcome back to another video. It's your boy KG back in the workshop studio. Hope all you guys having a blessed day. Feeling pretty good myself, gang. Uh, got a lot to catch up on today with you guys. Uh, I've been away from the shop for a while and kind of miss you guys. Uh, hope you feel the same way. Been busy working, going to school, a lot on my mind, a lot going on. But nevertheless, I have been working on a diorama. I believe the last video I did, I was showing you a diorama I had started for a good um, diecast brother, man, um, Jerry Farron. And it's almost like 90% complete, guys. I haven't been recording. Uh, my mind had just hasn't been in the right place to record again. I want to apologize to the whole entire die, die cast gang for that. My neck is itching. Um, just haven't been up to recording, guys. But uh, got a lot of information to share with you guys. I haven't been doing a lot of shopping. So I have a lot of new die casts I want to share with you guys. Also, some unboxings. I want to do on this video so I'm going to show you guys a diorama get the unboxing done but before that I want to say welcome to all the new subscribers if you watch me for the first time uh, take the time hit that subscribe button if you like the content and leave a thumbs up if you enjoy it too that really helps me out a lot um, trying to get my watch time minutes up guys my watch time hours have been kind of down, up and down, uh, but I try not to look at the analytics of YouTube as much, but you know what I'm saying, if I want to get to that point where I'm, uh, that's what I'm looking for guys, uh, monetize, my mind just be all over the place guys. Apologies, I'm not going to stop the video, I'm not editing this all unedited, uncut. In order to get that monetization from YouTube, uh, you have to have a certain amount of watch time hours. And I'm like halfway there, guys. I'm not, um, I'm closer to my subscriber goal than to my monitor, to my, my watch time hours. So... I encourage you guys to watch the whole video. If you don't watch the whole video, to let the video play through. Some of you, some of the real ones that watch me, just let the video play through to the end, uh, so I can get them watch time minutes up on the video. That way, I get my hours in. So, uh, that being said, I got more information, guys. Bad news. Um, I haven't heard from my 900 subscriber giveaway winner. Which is Dakota Price. Um, I'm gonna give Dakota 24 hours from when this video drops to contact me via email, YouTube, Instagram. Just message me. Let me know that you uh, that you know that you won the giveaway. That way I can get things sorted out. Get your, get your giveaway shipped off to you. Um, this has never happened before, but I had a plan. This is why I do an elimination spin, guys. And the runner-up for the win was Jerry Farron, which came in second place. If I don't hear from Dakota within 24 hours, I will be contacting Jerry to, to let him know that uh, there was a discrepancy and he won the giveaway. Um, I hope that's not the case, but for whatever reason, I was prepared. And... Uh, you know, I wish everybody luck on this. I, I mean, I don't particularly, you know, it goes where it goes, guys. And it's all set up for the person who wins. And I just hope that the giveaway goes to a happy home. And, it, you know, that's all you can hope for, guys. Uh, 
So getting into the video, guys. Enough of me blabbing on. I apologize for that, but I just had to get it off my mind, off my chest. Uh, I'm excited to show you these new diecast pieces. So let's get right to it. Alrighty, guys. Here's the diorama. Start off by showing you the diorama first. This one is 64th scale. I believe it's initial D, if I'm not mistaken. When I first started this build, I really didn't know what it was. I think it's like a tofu restaurant, tofu house or something. I'm not sure. I'm not a big movie buff guy, but when I first started the build, I had no idea what it was. So it's all foam board. You look at it from the, from the bottom. Basically got everything glued together. Used the uh, poster board for all my trim. From a wrap around the top part here, I use poster board. Uh, foam board at the top of here. Um, copied the Chinese letters as best as I could. Kind of smeared it a little bit at the beginning as I was doing the letters, I was kind of had my hand over some of the first letters, so it got smeared a little bit at the top right here there. I don't know if you can see that. But I did the best I could with these letters. Try to put a couple on the side. Now it's not quite done. I got to get it finished painted. Painting it. Especially on the back, I got to do another coat. It's not taking all the way on this side. I have to do another coat of paint. But it was a real simple build, guys. Like I said before, I'm not 100% satisfied with it uh, because it's a little bit out of scale. It's a little bit tall, taller than I would like it to be. Um, this is the only thing closer I have to a 1 64th scale figure and this is like a little goofy if I stand right next to it it's a little big I think it's pretty much as far as being wide from the side and, and the front I think it's right on scale but I think I could have struck it down a little bit that's the only disappointment Appointments I have with it. I could have did more details around the windows. Um, if I do another one, I'm going to do... Uh, I plan on doing another one and sharing it with you guys. But I'm going to add more detail than what's here. You know. And this is going to be my base that is sitting on. I'm going to get it glued down. This is going to get painted gray. I put poster board over it. I'm gonna add some more details. There's a um, a post that goes right here, like a light post. I put it on the corner there, and I have a tree right here that's gonna get incorporated in the back of there. And also, I'm gonna build a ladder. There was a ladder that goes up to the side. I don't know what the purpose of the ladder is, but that's part of the diorama. So I'm gonna build it out of some some skewers I have and paint it brown and see how it comes. You know, I'll show you guys the end result once it's all done in the end. But that's where it sits now. Uh, I was planning on maybe retrimming this around this edge of this right here because it was kind of rough in some pictures. I might retrim it and paint it again just to smoothen it out. But that'll be the end. That'll be the end of it, guys. And I just had some cars out. 
some one of the 64 scales just parked up front just for fun I always like to have a bunch of stuff around while I'm doing builds guys in a way just for the heck of it and once that's I mean I feel like I could have done better but it is what it is like it's my first time building and now I know what it is I can, um, you know, do a little better at, at the next build. So getting into this new die cast, guys, I'm going to start off with the 1 in 64 scale stuff. Because the 1 in 24 scale stuff I want to unbox and take out the package. Like I always do and give you guys a closer look. Got a bunch of stuff on the table already. Got this. Dodge truck on the table for a reason. I was thinking about it last night. I was thinking about getting it customized. I'm not sure. But this is an original. This is an original Jada Toys uh, Dodge Ram truck from back in the day. And uh, I don't know. It'll be hard for me to paint it. Be hard for me to paint again. So starting off with this big pal right here, guys, in front of me. I'm just gonna go through no no particular order. This car right here is Pontiac 67 Pontiac GTO. Um, I finally picked it up. Target. Um, I turned it down a few times, guys. And, you know, I don't know. I guess sometimes, sometimes you just get to a breaking point and you just buy stuff. I already had the gold one, which is in my garage up here, guys. If I pull it out. Here's the gold one already out the packaging. It had red wild tires. Really like that one. So this one is just an extra addition. Although I believe I'm not sure they might be one year difference. So I'll investigate that and look into that farther later on. But there's my Johnny Lightning GTO. I think they're both 67s. I'm not sure. Okay. And this is the interesting part. I got a bunch of Hot Wheels. I don't think I have any mess boxes this time. Okay. okay. Here's one, Volkswagen, Ultra Hots, um, SP2, this is a really different one, game. It kind of reminds me of a, of, a, of a Porsche a little bit, but I'm a big fan of Volkswagen, so. I had to pick that up. I believe I have another Volkswagen somewhere. Here's the Bengali Zonda R. I thought I had this in the collection already. Which I might do. I'm picking these up so fast, guys. I got to slow down on these Hot Wheels mainlands. Because sometimes... Well, I guess it don't hurt to have a double here and there, but... Sometimes I'll be picking them up so fast I have two of the same thing. Here's the Mitsubishi. I don't know how to pronounce that. You know how they always put in the full names of cars sometimes. That, is it Pajaro Evolution? A pretty nice car. I 
I usually go for cars that has the, the tempos finish in the front or front and rear or front and rear. But in some cases, you can get away with not having it in the rear like this car is red. So I guess the tail lights will be red. They did a good job on the front tempos on that one. Now this is something different, gang. Um, I usually don't collect fantasy cars, but this one right here has a special feature, which is, I believe, it lifts up. It's from a J case. It's, it lifts up, and it's something underneath there. I would love to see what's underneath there, gang. We'll have to see, guys. Should we unbox? Should we unpackage this one? I don't know. We'll see. This is sad. Maybe as an end of the video thing, we'll see what's underneath there. Here's another one that I thought was pretty cool. Ryan Sport. I can't really pronounce that. Ryan. This is one of the new companies that's out. This one has no tempos, guys. And it's unusual, really unusual for me to buy a car that doesn't have the, at least the front tempos done. So I like the car art. Thought it was pretty cool. Picked up two Barbie cars, movie cars. 56 Corvette. Um, I've been. I was hunting for these. I was hunting for one of them. And I was having a hard time finding it, so that's the reason why I ended up picking up two of them, guys. Just because. Just because somebody might else might be interested in one of these. I will be searching for the diorama set with the four cars, Barbie. Um, I think it's a great pickup, gang. Uh, Mattel and Barbie and Hot Wheels go a long ways, long ways back. So I feel like uh, this is a great pickup. I didn't go see the Barbie movie, no. I am a fan of what Hot Wheels and Mattel is trying to do, so that's that. Just recently picked this BMW up, i8 Roaster. Love the fact that it has the brown and tannish brown interior. It's more brown than tan. Once again, they, they could at least finish the... the at least put some grill, blacked out the grill or stuff on this. They did do some back details, some rear tail light details on this. So not bad. These front lights are kind of specific, so it would have been kind of hard for... I mean, they could have put some lines, some black and put some white lines. Something. Here's another one. That I might already have in the collection, but I'm not sure. I know I have it in two different other colors, but it's the Nissan Drift Car Maxima. I like it because it has the exposed engine, the sunroof. Um, No front light, headlight details. No rear details either, but just one awesome car. Moving along. I just recently picked this up in white. Automobilia. I can't pronounce some of these cars, guys, so I don't even want to... 
attempt once again. No front and back tempo, light details. Nice casting overall. Here's one that I was hunting for, really, really wanted. Um, this Audi 90 Quattro. I have the, the wagon, the premium one that matches this. So, another great fan. And I also have this other Audi premium with a similar detail. I believe this came with a, with a two pack. Which one did that come with? I think it came with this car last year. Two pack premium. But what else do we have? This we used to pick up this Fast and Furious Corvette Grand Sport Roaster. Movie car. Very nice. Like that one. Not a strange piece. A boat. Something different. Mad splash. Something outside of something that I usually pick up. Here we got another Corvette. Kind of funny in the package, but this time a 64 Stingray. Let me see if I can straighten out. There we go. It has some flags on the. I can't really focus in on that, but it has some flags. See a little bit right there on the fender. No real details though. It has Hot Wheels right there on the bottom of the door. There's another nice, interesting one. Chevy Blazer 4x4. Nice little detail there. Does have the, the rear light details. I like the how they did the suspension on it. The tires could have been black. They were, I'm not a huge fan of the mud tires, but I don't know. It's, it's pretty cool on this one with that color paint job. Has like something like a see through roof. Make that out. I don't know what that is on there. Look like it's some tools or something. I can't make it out. I know the camera can't make it out. I can't make it out looking at it without the camera. But here we have another one. Just been picking up a bunch of Hot Wheels, guys. 55 Bel Air Gasser. Trying to get through all these guys. Here we have another Volkswagen. I'm a big Volkswagen fan. Ultra Hot 69 Volkswagen Squareback. And Ultra Hot has the front end. Some front and back details. It has like the the amber turn signal lights, or I guess it will be turn signals. Very nice piece. 
and we have the Subaru WRX STI. Does have a little bit of front detail here, like gold wheels. And we have a 84 Mustang SVO. details but I love the SVO Mustangs it's just a nice car one of my favorites and I picked up a anniversary car in a 55 Porsche 993 G what is it GT2 This one has some very interesting headlight -like details, like some plastic, almost like plastic covers over the over headlights. All all over, very nice piece. It has the fifty five on the back, gold bottom. So that's all my Hot Wheels. One sixty-fourth massive pickup game. Massive pickup to add to the, to the paints. Just had to share it with you guys. Um, <clears throat> got one more green light. Here we have a Chevy set with the twenty twenty Silverado and the sixty nine Chevy Nova. Yanko SC 427 and the flatbed trailer. <clears throat> Love the Yanko design on um, both cars, matching colors, matching color trailer. When I seen this one on the page, I couldn't not say no, I could not leave it behind. So here we have it. The green light ankle set. And I believe that just about does it for the 1 and 64. No, it doesn't. I have one more. <laughs> I have one more to show you guys. And actually, it's the biggest one. I came up on this diorama set. 164th Nissan. Uh, all premium. Look at the back. We have the Nissan Skyline 2000 GTR Liberty Walk Nissan Skyline C2 210 Nissan Skyline HT, HT 2000 GTX and the fleet sheet fleet street fleet so this I found at Walmart guys and I was actually blown away by the price they actually had two in the store I'm actually, I'm always impressed when I find these in the store because I hardly ever see them I do have three sets that, I've, that I own one is unboxed the other one is right there, my BMW set. I was just looking at the other day. And I just showed you the other two cars that I have to unbox. But here is the Nissan Skyline set. So happy to acquire that. Uh, it was at my Walmart's game. It was. It rang up at $38 and some change, so I might as well say $40. I picked up both sets, and I thought it was a little cheaper than that. And when I seen the price, I had to put the other set back because 
There was no way I was going to pay that much for two sets. When I also found this at the same time. This pink slips McLaren 720S 124 scale by none other than Jada Toys. And I also picked up this Doctor Strange and the 20 2006 Corvette Z06. So I want to get Doctor Strange and the Corvette out the box. Give you guys a closer look. I love these diecast figures. And the new pink slip, which is the third pink slip to add to my collection. There's only one more I want to add, which is the Porsche. I'm debating on the Corvette. They have a, I'm um, only collect one of 24 scales in these guys. I'm not going to go for the one in 64s and, and the one in uh, 32s. I'm going to leave them for other collectors, but the Porsche I definitely want. Um, if I turn the box around, guys, I'll give you a look at how the Porsche look. I seen a lot of guys doing wheel swaps on these, and it's pink, but it has like a, uh, almost like a pearlescent kind of like flip to it. It flips like a, it has a nice, a nice white shiny tone that comes through it and I can't wait to acquire it guys uh, like I sent a, a lot of great wheel swaps with that car I don't like the wheels that come on it to be honest but I always swap alright gang the video just stopped but I was right at these 124 scale cars I'm going to get out the box so what I'm going to do right now is get them out the box give you guys a closer look and then we can move on from there Alright, I got them both out the box. First, I'm going to take a look at this Corvette with the Doctor Strange figure. Uh, very nice Corvette. Not too much of a fan of the color, this blue. It looks like the whole entire car is blue. Yep. Like a powder blue color. But that's not the strange color, so. Pretty much how we're going to be leaving it. There you have it, guys. Now, these figures are uh, very impressive, guys. The whole entire figure is die cast. I mean, even the head is die cast, I believe, on this figure. It's amazing. I don't know how they did it. The hand, oh, they stand really good. But the hand is die cast. The arm. Legs, the cape, everything is die cast. So this is a very impressive piece. Yeah, there you have it to add to the collection. Now we have the McLaren. So now we got the strings to the side. We have the 720S pink slips. I don't know what was the special feature on this one. Got the pink slips. In the front there. McLaren on the front little trunk space. Let's see if I can open the door. There we go. 
drivers on the right side in these cars. All the McLaren 720s do have right side steering, right side drive. Most of McLaren uh, spoilers retractable. Should be the same for this one. stickers up there for the gauges overall not bad I'm pretty pleased this door is pretty good have rubber mirrors and they usually stay in place pretty good so just wanted to share that with you guys I love sharing do new models with you as I take them out they're brand new to me first time I'm getting a close look at them just sharing them with you guys like I said from before um, before I end the video I'm really curious to see what this looks like underneath the gas, so rip it open, guys. Share it with you guys. Just in case you guys might be just as curious as me. Let me know down in the comment. I do this one hand real quick. Come on. I was trying to tear the package up so much, but. Read a piece. There we go, gang. What you guys think it looks like? I might need two hands. Probably so. See if I can hold you guys up. One second. It's gonna be a challenge. I don't want to break it, guys. Here we go. Okay. It tell you what the special feature is on the box, guys, but it doesn't really necessarily tell you how to open it. I don't know if you squeeze it, pull it, or what. Try it one more time, but one thing is for sure, gang, I don't want to break it, so I gotta hold you up like I need both hands. Okay, I see. I got it. It has like some little snaps on the side, on each side, if I had to push in, so. I see, guys, I still haven't seen it. Just looking like a skeleton car. <laughs> Not too impressed. Something different though. Thought it's gonna be something wicked under there. So. I think it looks better with the top on. <laughs> There you have it, guys. If you enjoyed the video, please take the time to hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button if you watch me for the first time and enjoyed the content. 
Remember to hit that bell. I tell you guys all the time. Hit the bell if you want to stay informed. Get up to date um, notifications. When I drop a video, you must hit that bell and turn your post notifications to all. If not, it's going to stay on personalized and you might not get the message. So, until next time, guys. Peace and love. Um, I will show you the end of the end result on this diorama. I promise. And until next video, guys. Peace and love. Good night. I'm out.